Channel 33 RPM. Today, by request, an updated music room tour. But first, this game has been driving me nuts. Just give me a second. guys, Frank here, channel 33 RPM, the YouTube channel all about vinyl gear and more still coming at you with a whole new episode every single Sunday. A few weeks ago the music room got a facelift, my wife Sherry painted the walls and I reorganized some of the furniture, moved some of the gear around and moved some of the records around. Since then I've gotten two requests. For an updated music room tour that came from 1204 Willow, aka Maggie, as well as Miko over at the vinyl corner. Once again, guys, your wish, my command. Check it out. As I mentioned a few weeks ago, the walls in this room are two colors. This one here is called Blue Steel. The color on this wall is called Wet Concrete. I have my guitars here and I have some records on these shelves below. First, we'll take a look at this wall. I showed you my guitar collection also in a recent video. If you missed that, I will leave a link below. I have four main electrics. I got three on the wall here, including my Godin LG, my Fender Stratocaster, and my Gibson Les Paul Studio. All my records are sorted alphabetically by artist, starting an A here, then continuing on the back wall, and down here an L, and then those ones continue in the back wall. All the sections are divided with these record dividers, which I picked up a few years ago at Bags Unlimited. Now there are a few artists to get their own section, including Kiss back there, Alice Cooper, and right here, Black Sabbath. So I'll just pull out a few of these. I also try to keep the albums in chronological order. So there's the Black Sabbath debut. I have a few uh, various pressings of that. Paranoid, Master of Reality. Again, a few different copies of that. And the Black Sabbath collection continues over here with volume four. And again, I'm a big Sabbath fan, so I collect various pressings. Uh, there's volume four. Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, love this album artwork. Again, various pressings of that one. Sabotage, Sold Their Souls for Rock and Roll, a couple pressings, Live at Last, um, Best of, Technical Ecstasy, um, Never Say Die, Greatest Hits, Mob Rules, and on and on. In the back corner over there is a closet where I keep some of my CDs as well as cassettes. Back wall, you guys see this all the time. It's a backdrop to all my videos. These shelves here are from Ikea and they're intended for pictures, but they were great for records. Here's the second row of records, again, all alphabetically. I ran out of dividers, otherwise I would have given Judas Priest their own section, because I do have a ton of those as well. Up on top here again is all my audio gear. I'll quickly go through it. This is a Project Debut Carbon Turntable, upgraded with a acrylic platter, as well as the speed box. Below here, Sony cassette deck. Here's my main unit. This is my integrated amp. It's a Marantz PM6004 with the matching CD player. Over here, I've recently switched out turntables. I had my Hitachi PS48 for a while. I had this unit in the back room, but I like to switch things out once in a while. And these speakers I absolutely love. They're from a company called Fluence, and this is the XL7F model. Fluence is a Canadian speaker company based in Niagara Falls. Like most or many electronics nowadays, they're made in China. But again, for the price, these speakers absolutely slay. This corner here is where I jam and I play guitar. I got Leroy the Skull, that's my leftover from Halloween, decided to keep it out. Got my microphone here, and I showed this recently as well, my Mesa Boogie Subway Rocket 20 watt amp. This is my desk, this is my work area, and it's right beside the guitar playing area. This is where I surf the internet mindlessly, this is where I sometimes watch other YouTube videos, and this is where I put together my videos. So up until recently I was editing 
all my videos using iMovie, which is the free standard stock video, video, video editing software that comes with Macs. I've recently upgraded to Final Cut Pro. I'm just starting to learn the ins and outs of it, but so far I'm really digging the software. Right beside the computer, as I showed you at the top of this video, is my Capcom Bowling Arcade Machine, circa 1988, in amazing condition for its age. I found this one at a thrift store a couple years ago. It was 400 bucks. I was kind of hesitant at that price and I basically was ready to walk away from it. But as I was walking out of the store, I saw a sign that said all electronics 50% off today. I asked the clerk if that also applied to this video game and she said yes. For 200 bucks, I grabbed it. This is something you never see in my videos and that's life beyond and behind the music room. The music room is really just a corner of the basement. Beyond that is the family room. Over there the kids hang out and play. And over here we watch movies, the kids play video games, and sometimes I chill out and watch other YouTube videos. In fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna check out and see who has uploaded some videos recently. Uh, this one? No, I've seen that one already. Who else has uploaded something I can check out? So where do you listen to music? Do you have a music room? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear from you guys. Remember, if you enjoyed this episode, to leave a quick like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that button so you never miss another episode again. Until next Sunday, Vinyl Friends, keep on spinning.